I didn't recognize you. Sorry, bud. <laughs> yeah. I figured you'd be, figured you'd be all hung over in some weather somewhere celebrate. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a good game, man. Mark can't take many of them. Oh, I can't imagine. Like, sounds like Holmes is all right, though. I mean, he wants back in, they said, so. Thanks for coming. You're doing all right, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just, 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 I
Whenever you're ready, Pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Uh, gracious Heavenly Father, as we gather uh, at this resting place uh, for James and for Barb, uh, Lord, we ask just for your presence here, for your truth of your word, uh, to remind us of, of Christ and the hope that we have in him. Uh, we pray that uh, uh, as there is a lot of emotion and a finality uh, to this time, Lord, we pray that uh, your grace and mercy and, and comfort uh, be upon uh, those gathered here today, uh, families and friends and those that dearly love uh, James. Uh, Lord, we ask for your care in their life. Amen. Reminded of some scriptures here as we uh, <clears throat> bring to the final resting place for James. Uh, the scriptures in Psalm 39 say, Show me, Lord, my life's end, the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting my life is. <clears throat> you have made my days a mere hand breath. The span of my years is as nothing before you. Everything is but a breath, even those who seem secure. So we deal with just the finality of life is short. Uh, and it comes to an end. But the scriptures tell us also of our Lord Jesus Christ, and a couple of these repeat from earlier, but Jesus says in John 5, Truly, truly, I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed from death to life. And the Lord says in John 11, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? There are none who can escape death. All people ultimately die. And in that instance, stand before God. The scripture tells us that we are appointed to die once. And then comes judgment. The Lord made James in his image and set before him all the days of his life. And now having died, James has seen the Lord and given an account for those days as we eventually will do too. If James was able to be here with us today, he would share maybe a lot of things, but four important truths as one who stands before the Lord. Salvation cannot be earned. It's a free gift by the grace of God. Ephesians 2 tells us, for by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not your doing. It is a gift of God, not a result of works that none of us may boast. James would also want us to know that all have sinned and are guilty of the penalty. Romans 3 says all people have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And James would tell us that the penalty of sin is death, but we can escape this penalty through the wonderful gift of Jesus. Romans 6 goes on and says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And lastly, James would want us to know that in order to receive God's free gift, we place our trust in Jesus and hold fast to him. Romans 10 says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. James was made in the image of God and was valuable in God's sight. By God's grace, he lived on this earth for 81 years, but now his time here has come to an end. We cannot speak, he cannot come and speak with us now, but these truths from God's word are true nonetheless. May all who hear them hold fast to them and walk with truth in Jesus Christ. So being thankful for the life of James and also Barb, we now say goodbye and commit their bodies to bury them. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God in his providence to take out of this world the soul of James and Barb, we therefore commit now their body to the ground, earth to earth, ash to ashes, dust to dust, with our hope placed in God who is good, who in Jesus, who in his death and resurrection has brought us life. God is good through our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory. Amen. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, uh, we pray your blessings upon us. Instill us with confidence in your Son, Jesus Christ, and the hope that we have in him. 